son. I told your mom there was a girl that it, that it seemed serious. Yeah, I wasn't good at hiding it. No, you weren't. Even before I came to visit him, I could tell from the emails. You want to tell us about it? I wish to tell. We both met at training camp. Uh, we we're both gonna, both gonna save the world. Until you get out there, and you see what you're dealing with. I don't know. I didn't know a lot about her. We, uh, we both kept catching different assignments. We'd be apart for months at a time. But from the beginning, there was a connection. We, uh... Sounds so lame. No, it doesn't. Everything is heightened. Uh, life or death becomes your norm, and... You get caught up in it. You get caught up in, in, in the work. You get caught up in the danger. Danger is a very powerful thing. It, it makes everything that you feel, it makes it more intense. After spending all this time together, Lauren and I, before we knew it, we wanted to have a life together. We were going to have a home, a family. She was the one. Shame the report didn't say how she died. In the field. The same explosion. Oh, girl. Don't do that, Mom. Don't do that. Don't feel sorry for her. She wouldn't want it. She knew the best if you came with the job. Question time over. with you. Like, before you go all mother lying on me, the truth is, I'm the one who found your son. And he'd still be picking bar fights in Germany. He I'm didn't sure. need you to find his way you home. You weren't there to see what I saw. He's falling apart! It seems like to me that wherever you go, things fall apart. That's nice. That day in the military hospital, I never would have known it was him. I would have not known that. And you know what? He was a first-class pain in the ass. And I was a living, breathing reminder of home, of you, of Josh, of all things Springfield. That's it. But what you did to him when he came back, I am sorry, Reba, but that is all on you. What I did to him? Yes, you were too busy treating him like a hero to even see He him. is a hero! And he turned to you. He confided in you. He hasn't been confiding in me. He can't get rid of me fast enough when I'm around. You knew about Lara. And you didn't say anything. If you'd come to me and if you'd told me that I okay. could have maybe helped so him deal with all my fault. fault. This is all my fault that I haven't said things that Shane, had he wanted you to know, could have told him yourself. I knew there was a girl. And he lost her, but that's all I know. And just now, how we got all of that out, that was good for him. That was good for him. You know why? Because I know that kind of pain. And you cannot go around it. You have to go through it. You have to go through it. And he does not need mommy to hold his hand and to dry his tears. He needs to hurt. He needs to hurt and hurt until it stops hurting. And you are loving him too much to let him do that. So if you want to help him, you have to back off. And you have to give someone who understands a shot. Let me give it a shot. Well, is 
engagement this night. I told you. Shane's in crisis, and you're, you're in here having a couple of beers. Bree, but we came in here looking for you and Dinah. You both flew out of there so fast. Is she across the street getting stitches? I'm the one who's pregnant with cancer. Dinah could have taken me easily. Was anybody worried about that? No. I, we knew you could take her. I did kind of lay into her. I was probably wrong. Because whatever Shane's going through right now, it's not her fault. It's yours. Yeah, so Dinah uh, basically told me that it wasn't her job to tell me Shane's business. And she was right, because it's yours. Where are you going? No. I mean, it was bad enough that you teamed up with Dinah to get that picture of Lara and then not tell me about it? How would telling you have changed anything, Reva? Because Josh and I could have reached out to Shane earlier. Whoa. Leave me out of it, Reva. Excuse me? I'm with Jeffrey on this. You're siding with Jeffrey. If you had been doing it in front of your face, it wouldn't have changed the outcome. The woman our son loved is dead. Now, if Dinah and Jeffrey hadn't looked into it, we still might not even know about it. Wait, so now you're defending Dinah, too? It's one of those it takes a village moments, Rima. Our son is hurting. He needs our help, that's true. He needs everything he, he can get from us, but he also needs help from other people. So if someone's willing to take the initiative... Jeffrey, I appreciate what you tried to do for our son. Thank you. I did it for you, Reva. And that's why you should appreciate him. Thank you, Josh. You're welcome, Jeffrey. <laughs> what is going on here? We're trying to take care of you, since you won't take care of yourself. I can take care of Shane and our baby all at the same time, and I can beat cancer while I'm at it. We're not going to do all of that today, are we? Eva, you're, you're treating this Shane thing like it's a sprint when it's a marathon. This Shane thing? If Shane wanted us with him, he would have stayed. When he shows up here, we'll be here for him. And everyone always comes company eventually, right? Oh, that's a brilliant strategy. It works. Ask Bud. Here, have some calm no. chamomile tea. Uh, you know what? You guys are all crazy. I'm going to go find Shane. Reva! Look, look, look. She's used to having the man chase her. It's when you stop that she comes back. Another round, boys? Shane was walking. What? He was walking. Not well, but I saw him get up out of his wheelchair and he got up on his feet and he was walking without any help. Just now? Yeah, I mean, he was upset. He was... He was really upset. I mean, I, I understand that, but I don't know, maybe if it was his anger that was motivating him or something. Great, I'm so happy for you. Oh, we should all be happy. You should be happy, too. I mean, he is your son now. And Josh was right about something else, too. I, I need to appreciate you more, the way you look out for me and my babies. All of them. Well, you know what I would appreciate right now? is you going home, taking a break, and putting your feet up. Does that mean I don't have to cook tonight? I think that can be arranged. Oh, good. Okay. Come on, I'll drive you. No, 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 no. You need to stay here. You have important work to do. But I promise you, I will go home and I will rest. But you need to get on this. Because we have enough problems. We have to find out who this guy is and what he wants with my son. Got it. Go home, detective. Okay. I'll see you there. All right. Thank you. Make it groceries. You're gonna cook. <laughs>